Pisces, Gay Pisces from GayPisces.com, and I'm here with your October 2016 Love Edition Love Skill Pisces. This is the first thing I feel, y'all. Okay, so what I was hearing before I turn on the camera, what I heard was that song Where's the Love? I'm sure somebody like the old song Where's the Love. Now y'all can look it up because I have no idea who sung that shit, but it's a woman singing it first. And then I hear this other song by this group called Confunction. It starts off and says, I don't know, if it's, it's called Love Train, I think. Well, anyway, if you look it up, it starts off, long night, can't sleep, too hurt, too weak, gotta call her up. That's the first line in the song. So if you find it, that's what it is. I think it's Confunction. It might be called Love Train. I'm not sure, y'all. I just don't know. But if you Google it. So, and what makes me feel about that is there may be somebody that your has been missing like a motherfucker. I mean for years I kind of feel like you're gonna find out that somebody's been really thinking about you and you thought it was only you that was having these feelings but no it was them too oh my god so I feel like okay Ooh, okay, so it could have been something that you guys have split way back when, honey, back in, I don't know, elementary school. <laughs> and then some reason why um, some things have changed, some things have turned around for you in your favor. And I feel like this person um, may come to express what they feel. But it's funny because what I see is between October, mid-November, and then touchdown in December. So maybe somebody's going to see you in December, or maybe they're going to talk to you about it, and then they're going to pull back a little bit and get their shit together and then come back towards you. But I feel like you're going to be... Um, I see you hugging somebody. So, oh, hey. <laughs> Y'all. So, um, okay. So let me just tell you right now. I feel like there's some people in the background who don't like this. Okay. Now, it could have to, have to do with somebody's family, or it could just be them having another family and they just leaving the situation and then you're like in the middle of trying to get get something finished so you and them can be together, okay? But I feel like there's some people going to be unhappy about this thing, so. <laughs> oh, fuck it, well. <laughs> That's their damn problem. First card. Ace of Pentacles. Nine of King of Wands, excuse me. Five of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, we gonna roll, y'all. One more. Seven of Cups reversed. Somebody's making a decision to come towards you, or it could be you doing to somebody else. But y'all, y'all, y'all. Ace of Pentacles, new feelings, new emotion. You know, investment into love. It has to do with the job. I mean, you know. You're the wrong person for job. Love readings by K. <laughs> anyway, so um, it could be this person is coming forward with the Five of Pentacles being reversed. This person has, um, for me, the Five of Pentacles reversed is somebody being open to you, being completely open and ready to do this. It's like the door is open. Let's do this. Now, mind you, with this Five of Pentacles, this could be somebody who you was in with something before, and it turned around, and it was an issue, and then uh, y'all broke up. Y'all split up. With the Seven of Cups reversed, for me, this is always a decision made. So, I feel like, or it also could be you in the middle of confusion, and then turn around and getting the answer that you need. But for me, it's always a decision made. So, y'all, it looks like somebody would be coming with the King of Wands here. I'm not, no respecter of of sign or whatever just a king of wands my own they shit could be coming and giving you investing in you emotionally and but but i'm just gonna say though really you may hear about this somebody may talk about it they may say something to you they may touch down like i said because i see somebody touching down when i usually see that i see like a, a plane and it like skips on the wheel and it goes back up and it comes back down that's why i say touch down it touches down and then it comes back to you and in december and maybe that's when it's going to be a uh, the hug is coming but I feel like it's gonna be slow at first you think and you're not really sure what's going on but I feel like you're gonna know for sure by December what to do so if you hold on to somebody and you don't know what's going on when the when January 1st come around move the fuck on okay if, the, if that person has not you know what I mean come into you but I just feel like this decision made an act initiated and relationship started so 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. It could be somebody you ain't seen in a long time. Because I see like Christmas and I see like cherry pie and shit. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I didn't enter the pagan holidays and shit. You know what I'm saying these days? <laughs> Stay woke. But, um. <laughs> I stay woke. But, um, I just want to say. <laughs> I went off in that shit. But, um, yeah. So, keep your good eye open. And when I say that, keep your good eye open. Your woke eye. And uh, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. And um, make sure that you're impartial and you keep your head above water. When I say that, make the right decisions for yourself. Don't make them based on only emotion, okay? And let me just say, y'all, that I've been looking around because you know I watch YouTube, whatever. And a lot of people be judging the shit out of Pisces and I'm tired, okay? I'm tired. Before people start to speaking about, let me just tell y'all, next time y'all see a video when somebody try to down Pisces or talk shit about a Pisces, let me just tell y'all this, okay? <laughs> mm. um, they know nothing about astrology. Let me just tell you, they know nothing about astrology. Somebody can have a sun sign till doomsday, okay? They can have 50 planets in one damn sign, but it all depends on what the combinations are, the conjunctions, the everything. I mean, you cannot just judge somebody on their sun sign. That is so shallow and so deep. I just want to be like, you need to, you need, you talking about signs and you, you, this person, that person, this, this, and this, like, you know nothing about astrology. I think you need to go back to the drawing board. Really and truly. Okay. <laughs> if I hear one more person say a Pisces is a drunk, y'all, do I like our mother? fucking drunk right now anyway so all right y'all <laughs> k Pisces from kpices.com check me out for a tell on the whole spot reading no lies no lies no lies honey you want lies look in america's i ain't got none but yeah all right y'all